my first memories actually involved chemistry. Um, I grew up in Lebanon, and during the war, my sisters had to be uh, homeschooled. And so my mom used to teach them chemistry on a big blackboard in one of our rooms. And when they would go off to do other stuff, I would go back into the room and pretty much like play teacher and go over all the chemistry stuff they had, uh, she was teaching them during the day. And so this was my first memory uh, with chemistry. And so going through high school, I was really good at it. And from there, I just went to um, college and did chemistry. And I really wanted to just be a school teacher, but you know, the roads opened up in, a di in different ways. And I ended up in France um, doing a master's degree in chemical engineering um, and working there. And uh, little by little, I enjoyed, um, I learned about plastics and how they're, you know, in everything that we use daily. And so I really appreciated that application oriented kind of thing. And so that's how I got into working in plastics. My daily job is very different. Um, we deal a lot with customer stuff. So sometimes we'll get um, customers um, who may have um, a need and we have to figure out how to make a product that um, can be applied to their to their uses. Um, sometimes we have issues with our plants and we support them. Um, some days it's spent in meetings. So one of the things that our company is really uh, big on is diversity and inclusion. And we have something called iCare, which is inclusion, cooperation, accountability, respect every day. And so these are like pillars that we go with. And um, I get to lead our team um, where I work. So that's kind of cool that I get to do that on top of the actual scientific work that I do. Coming from Lebanon, uh, and going to France was a big culture shock uh, for me and um, learning to uh, appreciate and uh, learning to be um, confident with my culture and the fact that I could speak three languages was actually something positive and not something negative um, and just embracing the difference there there is between me and other people um, I never had really good grades, but I actually had a good personality. And so just being okay with the fact that I was different and using uh, those differences to get the job that works with me is pretty much, I would say, like one of the biggest struggles that I had to go through. I started with a bachelor's de degree in Lebanon in chemistry. I did a master's in chemical engineering in France, and then I got a PhD from the University of Florida. <laughs> and I start getting the itch at year number five. I'm like, where am I going next? <laughs> so I feel like as we go on, we change as a person and our needs and our wants change. And so what might be today what I want to do is not going to be what I want to do in 10 years, which is also the great thing about working for a big corporation is that you get to move between jobs without necessarily changing companies. So um, I guess we'll see where the next year will go. I would say trust yourself, tr believe in your dreams, uh, fight for them. Um, there's no right or wrong. Uh, someone once told me there is right and left and I think that's really cool. Um, you can take a crooked road to get to where you are. A lot of people may have gone and gotten a bachelor's degree and then went on to get a PhD. I decided to it took me a lot longer. I did my bachelor's, then I did a master's, then I worked, then I went back to school. Um, and that's okay. Um, you just end up where you need to be at the right time. And so just keep believing in what you really want and keep pushing for it. Um, it's really happening everywhere. <laughs> I have.